Hello and good morning, friends. Hello, how are you? Today is Tuesday. Today, I'm gonna go head out and get my nails done. I actually wasn't supposed to go get my nails done until like next Monday, but it's already been that like two week point where you go and get your nails done. And I have a few like broken nails and I, need to go get them fixed because it's driving me crazy. So I called yesterday, they can they can fit me in for this morning, which is great, I was very happy about that. I'm not gonna get my normal girl, that, that, excuse me, that does my um, pedicure, but I'm gonna get the other girl, which is, she's awesome too. Absolutely love both of them. So she's always my like other choice if I can't have my, my first girl. But anyway, irrelevant. Hi, how's everybody doing this morning? So um, last night I started watching, well, I, I finished it. I, I started watching Poor Things, which is the, the movie with Emma Stone and the one she won an Oscar for. And um, holy cow, I was going into it going, oh, it's Emma Stone. She's great. I love Emma Stone. How horrible or bad or weird or odd can this movie be? It's got Emma Stone in it. Wow. The girl earned her Emmy big time in so many ways. In so many ways. <laughs> so if you guys have watched Poor Things, um, watch it. It's interesting. Don't give up on it. It's very, very slow kind of to begin with. Um, it starts off in black and white and then all of a sudden kind of goes to um, color. So um, I liked all of the oddities in it. I think it was really neat. I liked some of the costuming in it, some of the settings in it was just really, really neat and different. Um, I can't think of the guy's name, Garofalo. He was Hulk at one point in other movies. Um, he was He's in it, he did a really good job as well. So um, yeah, watch it, it's different. It's interesting. I didn't know it was based off of a book. So I'm going to actually see if I can um, get that book on my Kindle and start reading that one too as soon as I'm finished reading my other one. Um, but yeah, holy cow. So another thing today that I'm going to be doing after my nails, I'm going to go to Goodwill and drop off stuff that I have in my trunk because my trunk, like I said, is completely full of stuff. And then I'm going to head over to Hobby Lobby or Kirkland's, probably both, just to kind of see what I can find. I'm looking for tulips. And I kind of said that yesterday. I'm looking for some tulips to put on the centerpiece in my dining room. So that is what I'm looking um, to for there. And then one more thing I wanted to share with you guys, this cute little dress that I'm wearing. Um, I got this at Old Navy the other day. So I wanted to show you. Hold on, I have my, my fan. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Alrighty, so this cute little dress that I have paired with a jean jacket, because it is still a little bit chilly outside, but it's supposed to warm up to like 67 today. But um, this is super cute. I love the like print on it. The print is absolutely just so pretty and just springy and just like, says spring it just welcomes spring and then like i said i just kind of paired it with a jean jacket you can wear it without it of course um and then i just kind of have a pair of tennis shoes on with it because um sandals are a little too chilly right now because it's still cold like i said so i just thought well i'll just go ahead and pair it with some tennis shoes and it still looks very very cute nonetheless but yeah that's my like whole look for today uh, like i said i got this dress at old navy i'm sure that they still have some because they had plenty when i was there of course every old navy is completely different but um yeah there's my there's my o otd for y'all today super cute i love it it's just really comfortable like cute little summer dress um i really wasn't too fond about how like low the v-neck goes i'm trying to show you guys how low the v-neck goes but if you wear like a little shirt or something underneath it it'll probably kind of cover things up but normally i do wear like a tanky underneath it or underneath my shirts but i don't really normally wear tankies underneath dresses because they just feel weird <laughs> so I can I feel better when they're tucked in you know what I mean I can tuck in a like a tanky but yeah there's my little outfit let's go get the nails done all righty guys so I am all done with my nails it is I don't know, there's just something about getting my nails done that I just like enjoy sitting there getting my nails done. I enjoy my pedicures, I enjoy all of it. So, I took a picture of my toenails. I actually got like this really cool green color and then she added the chrome to it and it just made it pop. It just was awesome. And then um, she just did my nails like this. It's a dark gray charcoal almost, but it looks black and then she added the chrome to it, y'all. 
I am addicted to that chrome. That chrome is so awesome looking. And um, when she put the green toenail polish on my toes, that green was not like a cool, pretty color green at all. And then when she added the chrome, it just made it into this like really beautiful, like emerald green color. And I was like, I am here for that emerald green color. And besides that, it's gonna be St. Patrick's Day on Sunday. So toes are perfect. Morley won't be able to see much of my toes only because I, I've been wearing tennis shoes. Unless it starts warming up a little bit more this week, which it's supposed to, um, I'll wear some sandals. But right now, mm, they're so cute. You guys let me know what you guys think. I put a picture in. You guys let me know what you guys think of the green. I think it's so pretty. It's just such a pretty green color. Reminding me of like the Wizard of Oz in Emerald City. So, all right. We're off now. I'm gonna head to, I'm thinking I might actually even, um, might do um, Michael's if I can't find the tulips that I'm looking for. Let's go and then I'm gonna grab lunch and head home. So I haven't been to Michael's in a while, so I thought I'm gonna try Michael's first before I do like Hobby Lobby or Kirkland's just to see if they have any like tulips that I'm looking for or any like spring flowers. I'm really wanting tulips, but any type of spring flower will do. But tulips are like what I'm trying to look for. So let's go into Michael's and see if I can find something. All right, so I found some tulips. They're like $1.99 for like the bundles, but those look like too small. These are like really small. So I want like a bigger, bigger kind. So let's go see if they have bigger ones. Okay, yes. I mean, even these would be beautiful, but I was kind of looking for these and I was looking for more kind that like drape. I don't see any more of these though. Those are pretty. Let me keep looking. I found a couple more bundles, plus I'm gonna get those. But they do have a lot of pretty flowers. Lots of pretties. Alrighty, so I had success at Michael's. I got a couple extra flowers, then I got some garland. So I'll share that stuff with you guys when I get home and get it all like put up. Um, but I'm actually gonna skip going to Buff City right now, and I'm just gonna go get some lunch, and I'm gonna head home, so I will see you guys at home alrighty so I am back I had my lunch I have put my little flowers on my dining room table and I think they are gorgeous it turned out so pretty what do you guys think I I had like a vision I saw tulips and this is what I wanted so tulips it is look at how beautiful and I think it like all comes together because like the stems are green and then I have like my green goblets and then a green napkin and then all the green that's in the table runner. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, absolutely stunning. I love it. I think it's so pretty, it's easy, it's simple. <laughs> there was not a lot of fuss to it at all. And uh, yeah, I'm so glad that I got the four, like four of them, because it worked out really well for those. Um, yes, so cute. I love it. It turned out perfect. Yes, 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 yes. Thoughts? What do you guys think? Let me know. Leave me a comment below. Alrighty, so I actually have things that I have to carry upstairs, um, like this vase that I'm not using right now, those stems that I'm not using right now, this little plant planter thing that I'm not using. I need to stick those in the fridge. These are some extra like containers that I'm going to like keep and store things in. All those things need to go up. And then this is just some of the Easter stuff that I'm actually not using this year. So um, yeah, I'm gonna carry this stuff up. All right, something else that I have been wanting to share with you guys uh, since they came in. Um, is my new luggage. So I absolutely love this color. It is adorably cute. Even Brian's like, ooh, I like the color. It's so nice. Um, it is 360, so I'm gonna like put you guys down. I'm gonna share all this with you, so hold on a second. Alrighty, so it spins around all the way like this. So usually when I'm like at the airport, I usually, just push it along like this because it's just a lot easier. Plus I'll have a bag on top of it, which I need to go get the bag and show you guys. I actually got a name tag which says Angie Cato on it um, from an Etsy shop. Again, adorably cute. I really wish I would have gotten like a different color, but the hot pink is perfectly fine. Um, I got new name tags that match it and they're private all there. Um, <clears throat> 
all I have to do is just open this up and then you can like see the address. Obviously, I'm not going to share that with you, but um, I love it because it matches. It is such a pretty color and I'll give you guys a little up close look of the tag itself. Alrighty, so there's actually three pieces of luggage in here. There is this size, which again, I'm not exactly sure what size this is. Hold on a second and I'll tell you. Okay, so like I said, there's three. This one is 28 inches. The other one is 24 inches. And the other one inside here is 20 inches. And the 20 inch one is the one you can actually take on the plane with you as a carry on. But anyway, I love this. And then another thing that I got with it, or did come with it, I had to order it separately, is a cover. <clears throat> and this is one of those um, plastic covers that you put over your luggage. And I saw these and I thought that is the best thing ever to protect your luggage. So I got one and I am so happy that I did. It goes on super easy. I got one for all three, all three sizes. It goes on very, very easy. And it has room for the handle. It has room for everything. And basically all it does is Velcros down at the very bottom. So you can just pull it down like so, and then it Velcros down here, just like that. So, and it could, it protects your luggage from getting scratched or broken or scuff marks on it. Or like my last one I just had on it, it had a huge hole in it. I got a big, huge hole in it. Like someone drilled a hole in it. So. I'm very happy about this because, like I said, it protects your luggage very, very nicely, especially for the airports because they just don't care. They throw it in the airplane, they throw it on a little belt, and they just don't care. So, um, but anyway, so I will put a link to all of these in the description box below, along with the name tags and stuff too. I'll have to find the Etsy shop and um, send that as as well to you guys. But yeah, this is my new luggage and I absolutely love it. Alrighty, so along with the luggage, I have slowly been trying to get some other like travel bags and travel accessories that I can use that are going to be, um, that take up less room. I can put more things in, kind of if you like catch my drift. So I'm not gonna bring that big like fold out thing that I, uh, that, I, that I bring most of the time on our trips. I'm gonna try to obviously condense that and just bring obviously <laughs> the shampoos and all the things that I need. I'm trying. <laughs> okay, so, well, since I did that, I got these, I ordered these cute little um, shampoo and conditioner bottles. Obviously, it doesn't matter which one's what, but I got these ones, and these are, um, you can put them on the airplane. They're actually a, a little bit larger size than the other little um, squeezy containers that I have, so I know that I can put shampoo in this, and I, the shampoo should last me. <laughs> a good two and a half weeks. Um, same with conditioner. So I'm basically, this is my mind. I'm thinking, okay, we're going to Germany. We're going to be gone for two and a half weeks. I've got to figure out how to get all of the things that I need inside of my suitcase without it being completely overweight. That way I can bring a few things home. So I started off with these. So I'll be putting obviously shampoo and conditioner. I just think they're such a pretty color. And um, I'm just trying to go with those really pretty colors that kind of match the luggage and match my bag and all that good stuff. So I got these and then I got, <clears throat> I ordered like six of these. I think um, they come in a six pack or they come in a four pack or they come in a two pack. I can't remember, but anyway, nonetheless, they're just little plastic zipper um, containers ship or traveling like pouches that you can put things in. So I already thought, well, I can go ahead and put these inside of here along with a couple of other things too. Like I said, I'm just trying to keep things, you know, minimal, bring what I need and um, going from there. Um, the other thing too, so I always bring a, a bottle with me of my like spray conditioner and that's a, that's a large bottle of my spray conditioner. So I, you can only buy these in a three pack. 
So I got a three pack of the little spray bottles and <clears throat> I'll fill one of these up with my um, uh, detangler spray and there's a pump. So that's exactly what that is. So I can just use this and put that in there. And this is also safe to fly with. These are regulation safe. So I can use one of those. And then the other little thing that I bought were just these little tiny, um, this came in its own little pouch, um, is a, <clears throat> excuse me, are these cute little, like you put like um, lotion in them or creams or something like that. But I just love the colors of them. Again, just kind of going for all like these little like neutral colors. So these are, the, there's four of them. So this is kind of what they look like. And I think they are adorably cute and so perfect to travel with if you are traveling and you need to use like creamers or something like that. Okay, they're not gonna focus. But anyway, so <clears throat> you just unscrew the lid and they pop off just like that. And there's a lot of room in there too to put whatever you night, whatever you need in there, like your night cream, your facial cream, whatever, just put it in there. And that'll actually save me from having to bring like the bottles of stuff. Y'all, it's a learning process, seriously. Um, when I'm traveling like on a plane, this is when these things are gonna come in handy. When I'm traveling in my car, I'm just gonna put whatever I want to in my bags and in my car because I can. I'm not worried about weight, I'm not worried about the size of anything. But because we're gonna be flying and we're gonna be flying a couple of times, a couple more times this year besides just Germany, we have another trip in the fall that we're gonna be taking. Um, I wanna make sure that I have all the things that I need for travel to make it more convenient for me, make it easier for me, knowing that I have all the things that I need to bring and I'm good to go. So that is, um, that's that. So I'm happy about all those things. And I'll put a link to all that stuff in the description box below too. So if you guys are interested in any of those travel things, you can click on that too. And um, you can order them. Yeah, because they're just right there on Amazon. Who doesn't love Amazon? Amazon's like the best. Amazon is awesome. So um, I'm actually gonna be going on a trip in, in a couple of weeks. I'm not exactly saying where I'm going, I'm just going to show up. And what I'm gonna try to do though is I'm going to pack all of my things and packing all of that stuff and I'm going to actually give myself a try it all and see how well I can pack it and see if everything works the way that I'm hoping that it works and planning and works out the way that I want it to work. And that way I can tweak things if I need to. So um, yeah, so I'll be doing that in a couple weeks. I'm excited about that because um, I'll be able to like try it. It's like a trial run with me for my luggage and all my things that I'm gonna be bringing with me um, on the plane. So yeah, so anyway, but that's it. I, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's vlog now. I actually wanted to make some banana bread. So let's see. It's a little after two. Um, I think I'll save that for tomorrow and I'll make that um, in tomorrow's vlog. But yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Again, it's just a regular like day in my life, just kind of doing things, getting things done, a little bit of decorating, a little bit of outdoorsy nail things, getting all that stuff done. I'm still waiting for them to call me about when they're going to come and lay down the granite in our back. So as soon as that's all done, I will share all that stuff with you guys. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope that you guys had a great day, had fun. I know I did. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.